Uh, what's up guys welcome to Gen Electronics uh, my name is Clemo uh, and today I have a, a, a circuit over here I'd like to share with you guys it is a automatic you know, night light so what this circuit what it does it switches on uh, when, it's, when it's dark and it switches off when it's a daytime when it's a daytime it's a power supply we, from uh, 220 volt to 12 volt DC this is a step down, so it's, it's useful. So, here is the circuit. I hold this part here. Hold this, is a power supply. So is this one here. So that means you, get, you don't need any extra uh, uh, power to power this thing. On. So it's only one power and then it's all good. And from here, and then the rest is of the the activating uh, circuit. Yeah, we don't use relay here. There's no moving part, so it's just I'm using a BTA six, B, BTA uh, one thirty six. So, so no, no, no need of relay. So the safety sac, uh, the safety about this circuit is that um, over here, that's where the power goes in, and here we have. Uh, a fuse, uh, about one ampere. Uh, what what this thing does is that um, if something goes wrong with uh, input power of socket or something like that, it will blow up. But this everything will be safe except this one. The fuse will blow up, and I can always ex uh, change that instead of all the circuit blowing up. So it's only the fuse. So that's the safety about it. The second safety features is this one here. Uh, this is also a uh, fuse about 1 ampere and it's a uh, removable and remove and pull, uh, put it again uh, uh, so this means um, if anything goes wrong with the lamp this input for the lamp if anything goes wrong with the lamp and uh, it's cause short circuit not th this thing won't burn up all of it but only the fuse so only the fu fuse will burn up and I can always change that there's no problem so there's a, a little bit about the safety. If you want to amount this thing to the to the light, uh, you need to cover everything properly in a case uh, from water resistance. But this uh, LDR sensor just to be outside. It has to be to be seen. So it can. This is a, the uh, there's a sensor. So when it's dark, it activates the switch to go on, and when it's light, it activates to go off. So here, uh, these are the few components, this is an accelerated capacitor, that's fuse, about 1 ampere, a normal capacitor, and uh, this uh, bridge rectifier, with some resistors, and a uh, uh, 12 volt Zener diode, uh, LDR sensors, and uh, this 10k, uh, this 10k variable resistor for adjustment, a uh, BTA 136, and a uh, mock. Uh, 3021. Uh, this, this circuit is useful. You can use it on the uh, back of a garden. So, like when it's uh, at night, the light goes on, and when it's daytime, light goes off. Of, for, of you can use it for security purposes. So, same reason when it's, on, when it's dark, it switches on, when it's daytime, uh, it switches off. So, it's also useful uh, for also saving light, uh, of saving power. Because in some cases, so you forget to switch off the lights and can burn up during the day of up to even one week. So, but with this one, it, it makes sure that not, not something like that doesn't happen. So, it switches off when it's the daytime and only at night it switches on. This one, you can adjust it for the sensitivity of the uh, of the dark of the of the dark. So, it's useful circuit, and you can build from your own from a. Recycled materials from other stuff you can always uh, remove things up, and uh, you can make one like this. And, uh, so, if you're going to use a uh, larger uh, lamp for a uh, bigger lamp for more watts, you need to change this one, one BTA66, and you you can Google for a bigger. Uh, you can can uh, can can able to. Uh, to use a bigger uh, watt, uh, more to more power for the big bulbs. I mean, 
so only this will to change if you're using only uh, more than 100 watts something like that but if you're not using then this is okay too for the moment it's all good easy to build and cheap away really. of course you can buy it but uh, you can also make it if they can make it you can make it as well 